Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at ground calibration of the AGM-65 Mavericks in the F-16C. The option to bore sight them, as it's known, has been added early November 2020. My ground crew have just put an AGM-65G and an AGM-65G on stations 3 and 7. In a perfect world, those will be perfectly aligned on those racks on those station pylons, on that wing, and so on. However, it's not a perfect world. In reality, that rack has been used 3,000 times. It's slightly bent. That pylon's been hit. It's slightly bent. The missile, the screws are slightly undersized, and one of the maintainers is having a bad day and didn't torque one of the bolts properly, and so on. Therefore, we have to calibrate them before we use them. So, we're at the calibration range, otherwise known as the runway. Let's get on with it. First, master arm to simulate. Do not put it to master arm because you may accidentally shoot the missiles. Next is ground jettison enable to enable. Next, master mode air to ground. Let's power on our teapot and we're going to power on our Mavericks. Our Mavericks will take three minutes to power on our teapot, two minutes, so let's skip time. Teapot screen up and let's get the weapon screen up. It says in our official instructions to do the screens the other way around, but it doesn't matter. And there we go with the Maverick. First, we're going to use the teapot here to lock on to a target, a known target, with a point track. So, standby. We're going to air to ground. Um, to give us the ability to slew here, we're going to set the Maverick in question to uh, pre. Let that slew. So back to the teapod, we're going to make it soy, and I'm going to assume that you are used to the controls of how to control the teapod and the Maverick in the F-16. And ensure that we've zoomed out. In this case, so let's move over to calibration range. We have some livestock on the calibration range. We suggest not using livestock for this, as they can move. Ah, that's even better. We've got a vehicle there. Here we go to IR. Make sure that we're in a narrow field of view. I think that should just about do the trick. Get centre mass on the Victor. And we're going to TMS uh, forward once to gain a point track. Okay, point track gained. Notice that we did a handoff, or handoff in progress user up there, and we now have a T above the 3 and a T above the 3. Now that's all good. Notice the current offset between where the Maverick is pointing and the Victor there. So we're going to soy over to the left MFD. We're going to manually lock onto our fella there. Uh, sorry, move on to our fellow there. Uh, we can go field of view change as well, I suppose. Get the centre mass there. We're now TMS forward to gain the lock. We now get presented. I know it looks a bit funny, but that is locked onto the point track. We get presented with a new bore sight function here, which we're going to press and will take about a second to bore sight. Next, we're going to press missile step button to step over to our next missile. You'll have to do this for every one. Done. Again move it into position whoops we're gonna have to hand off again so soy over to uh, right screen tms off tms forward hand off soy over to left screen let's try that again narrow field of view center mass of the victor and tms forward and we get presented ball sight ball sight Next, we want to cancel all of our tracks, so we are going to uh, override missile mode. There's one way of doing it. Let's do that. And then we're going to return to air-to-air, -air, uh, which we need to go to nav mode first, I think. And then, there we go, air-to-ground, back to air-to-ground. So we've cancelled our tracks. We're aiming at uh, that is, well, nothing, and that is at, uh, I think that's going to be waypoint one. Next, we're going to soy back over to our teapot. I'm going to zoom out again. We're going to find our calibration target. Obviously, make sure nothing moves, like the vehicle or me. There's our cow. Uh, there's our guy. Look. Narrow, because we should use narrow, really, if, if we can. Uh, we're going to lock. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to go to auto. There. I'm also going to missile step over here to our uh, our beginning missile. And I am going to do a handoff, an automatic handoff in this case. So with this uh, T-Bond Soy, we're going to TMS forward for point track. We're going to handoff and watch the handoff progress. And what we want to see is just what we've got there. End up with a C. C means that we've confirmed the handoff and that we're correlated between the Maverick 
and the teapot. I know graphically it looks, it's not quite correlated, but that's just a DCS ism as far as I'm aware. I'm going to miss our step, and I'm going to go back to teapot. I'm going to make sure we're in auto, which we are. I'm going to unlock. I'm going to relock with, uh, sorry, re point track with TMS forward. Watch the handoff and hope for the best. And you can see we've got the C over the 7 here. We've got the C over the 7. Again, we're correlated on this station. So we're correlated on both stations. So what we've done is we've calibrated our left Maverick, our right Maverick, and our T-Pod all to exactly the same place. So we're done here. I'm going to go back to uh, nav mode. And I'm going to go back to SMS. Uh, sorry, I actually need air to ground mode to do this. SMS inventory and I'm going to power off the Mavericks because we're going to go and fly a mission now we don't want to we don't want to have them powered up all the time obviously cancel our simulate master mode ground it and off and we're back to standard that's everything calibrated and ready for use I hope that was useful and see you later